Now, the big homie 50 Cent was doing an interview, and in this clip, he shared with us how LeBron James made him millions back in the days. Check out his clip. Maybe you know more about this, but um, they had approached Ron Artest before, and they offered him the same deal, but he didn't understand equity, and he yeah. wanted money, and they didn't really wasn't in a position to give him the money that he wanted, so he turned it down, and you took the equity, but that's because he probably didn't have the understanding, like you said, of right. what and, equity is. And just where he was at at that point in his career. Like, you know, basketball, everything's the, the check. So they look at the last check they can. Like when I, I did business with RBK, with G on the sneakers. I made over $80 million during that time period with Paul Fireman over there, right? Well, then nobody claps for that? God damn. <laughs> it's an everyday thing? <laughs> like, what? But, but, but while I was there, the deal only took place because of LeBron. That's why I say like me and LeBron, I'd be like, we 03, baby. <laughs> Class of all three. <laughs> you don't even know why I feel like that. But when RBK lost, when they lost the bidding war for LeBron, because Nike ended up making a deal with them for 120 million, they had 80 million dollars sitting there. And Paul Feynman decided to do lifestyle branding with myself, Jay Z, and Daddy Yankee. And I just kept coming back for money. Every three months, I kept saying to him, "Look, I'm a high risk investment. Yo, it's going good. I'm a high risk investment." Yo, we are doing so good. How many shoes we sell? I'm a high-risk investor. 